The Bear, Season 1, Episode 4, Thoughts. And this episode is called Dogs. So, spoilers for these first four episodes. Another episode I absolutely loved. Holy crap, those donuts look incredibly tasty. This this really is... I, I don't know why I haven't mentioned it before this episode, but holy crap, this show makes you hungry. I'm really glad I'm going to have lunch after this. And... <laughs> Carmi and Richie bicker as usual. I, I, I very, very much enjoy their their bickering. I just want to expose. Please don't expose anything. I, I don't need you to expose anything. Let's see and so good wow. <laughs> And, yeah, more conflict between Sydney and Tina. And, yeah, you know, Tina says, I've been in this kitchen before you, since before you were born. You know, that's a big part of the, the conflict, of course. She doesn't like, you know, being told what to do by, yeah, literally, you know, she could be her kid. And, you know, it's... As an elder millennial, I, I try to understand both parts of this. You know, yeah, I, you know, sometimes, you know, I'll see a, a, someone younger than me, no better than me, and I'll be like, okay, that's that's really annoying. You know, that's, that's you know, makes you feel, makes you feel um, inferior, you know. And some someone, you know, older than you saying, no, 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 I know better when you come in as a younger person being like, no, 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 but things have changed, though. There's something that I've been taught because it's very recent that you may not have been taught yet. So I'm just trying to help kind of thing, you know. And <laughs> I... I love the smash cuts on this show. I already, you know, yeah, talked about some of the others. I really, in this episode, I love the, the smash cut between, like, you know, R Richie and Carmi are, are talking about, you know, oh, you know, is there going to be a conflict between Richie and Jimmy? Smash cut, and they're both just yelling at each other. Like, the words make sense, but they're not listening to one another. They're just... Like, both of them are certain that they're right and the other is wrong. Let's see. Right, and and this this old guy uh, did not catch his name. But, but yeah, this old guy walks up to, to the, you know, to Carmi and is like, I thought you killed yourself. And Carmi's like, no, that was, that was my brother. And the old guy just walks off, and it's one of those things... Is he happy that this is not the guy who killed himself? Or is he like, well, God took the wrong brother or something. You know, it's just not that... I'm, I, maybe he's not thinking that. It's just, given the circumstances, maybe a good idea to, to follow that up with good to see you or just some something. But nope, just heel turn, walks away. Just, yeah. And... The yeah we see um, Richie is you know has the that's also you know he hates when Jimmy calls him Rick which is probably the main reason Jimmy calls him Rick you know and it's again one of those things like they've probably known each other for many many years now and Jimmy has always thought that Rick Rick was irresponsible. And, you know, Richie has always thought, God, fucking Jimmy, just look, get off my ass. Come on, you know, I'm doing my best here. I'm doing well enough, in fact, you know, kind of thing. So, yeah, because, you know, he's been, he's been best friends with, with Michael since Michael was a kid. So, yeah, you know, they've been, this is not the first time they're, they're at the same family party. And the right, and and then we get the you know Richie is is uh, um, yeah later they call it Xanax, so that's what I'm going with, 
you know, and, and yeah, I 100% understand and believe that he has anxiety. And then, it's, um, where's, so where's the ketchup? Didn't bring any ketchup. You didn't bring any ketchup. We're serving hot dogs, Richie. That's what we're doing here, in case you were, in case you were confused about, holy fucking shit. What kind of asshole is going to want ketchup on his hot dog? A child asshole. You're a child, asshole. And the, the, this, yeah, there's the, the, you know, homemade ecto cooler, and we later say, oh, it actually, it's exactly the, the right, you know, it tastes exactly like the, the ecto cooler from, from way back then, you know, and he's like, R.I.P. Harold, and seriously, and, you know, Harold Green's incredible talent, huge loss. And then we see that Richie left the fucking Xanax on the table, and it's like, just like immediately you know this is gonna go horribly wrong. And yeah, I like the, the donut talk between Fack and Marcus, and it is kind of funny. <laughs> Apparently, Maddie Matheson, the actor who plays Fack, is... A, like, he, he can actually cook professionally, you know, but he's not in the kitchen. He's always just seen, you know, he's, like, repairing stuff. And, you know, there's a, I forget the exact line, but there's a line in this episode where he's like, you know, you don't work here or something like that. You don't work in this kitchen, you know. And, and it's like, that almost must have been, like, some someone wrote that as just, you know, yeah, we get it. We, we realize that, that you know, someone went ahead and cast someone who can actually, you know, because some of the people, some of the actors had to, you know, they, they learned it so they, they can do it for, for on, on camera to make it look real, but Maddie actually does know it, you know, but he looks like a guy who, you know, shows up to repair stuff, so he was cast as, as that. And... Sydney meets the roommate, which, very awkward, like, just, holy crap, that was, yeah, and, you know, Sydney, not a fan of the, of the hugging, and I think it's, it's, again, one of those, like, cultural things, like, she feels like we don't know each other, so we're not gonna hug, and he's, like, you know, you're, you're almost, you know, like, my roommate works with you. Of course, we're gonna hug, kind of, kind of thing, you know. So let's see. And then we get the <laughs> Richie still insisting on the on the goddamn hot dog. So he's standing there inflating. You know, he yeah, just <laughs> that was also right. I I don't know how I missed that, but. Yeah, that was really funny when they're when they're arguing over, you know, Richie is convinced that the the hot dog will fit in the in the back of the car, and Carmi is like, it's, I, it obviously is not gonna fit. What the fuck? Just give it up, you know. Just. It was also it was very funny when I think is it maybe Tina who catches them being absolute fucking children bickering over this just yeah like. How old are you again? Because you're acting like you're seven. You know that, right? That's just... And then we have the... Right, right. The um, I think it was Cousin Frank who says, you know, Oh, Carmi, so you work in a restaurant. You know, what a fucking loser. And Pete stands up for him, which is like... Yeah, you know, kind of nice. He's, he's, he's a nice guy, you know. And let's see, right, right, the, you know, behind his back, they're talking shit about Pete. And Jimmy explains, he showed up with the present, and then he just won't fucking leave. And it's like, dude, you're not, this is not, you know, that's... Just, yeah, the, the... Take it, you know, read the room, take a, just take, take it, 
take a hint, that's what it is. I was like, take a note, that's not right. And yeah, we do learn it was not Richie's fault. You know, the the about the the real estate thing, you know, this this person, you know, she she was renting the place, she did not call Richie, she called the number that was, you know, for for Mikey. You know, it's and and yeah, for all this time, Jimmy has been giving Richie a hard time saying it was his fault. And I do appreciate, you know, now that Jimmy knows, he does, you know, they, they have a bit, they get along better. Because, you know, now it is confirmed that, that really it was, you know, Richie didn't fuck up. You know, it, it wasn't his fuck up. And then we have the, yeah, some more conflict between Sydney and Tina. You know, Tina feeling like Sydney's micromanaging her. And Pete inserts himself just as Richie and Jimmy were finally getting along. And it's again like, dude, just, you know, I think that's just like a, a good rule. If, to, if a couple of people are laughing, you know, and you and you know them, don't, like, walk up and start laughing as if you know what is being laughed at. It's just not, like, I get, I get it. You know, I've probably fucking done it. But don't do it. It's just, it, you look like an asshole, you know. And... <laughs> what the fuck is that, nap time? And... Yeah, Pete tries to to make Carmi feel better, and then ex, you know goes a little too far, and and ends up saying, you know, I mean, it's hard on sugar too, you know, and and thankfully this time Carmi doesn't fucking punch him, and yeah, you know, it's a, I, I guess I were a call, yeah, for fifty, <laughs> and the yeah. You know, it's up. Oh, you uh, almost out of ecto cooler. Better fill up. You know, take the thing off. Oh fuck! Um, fishes out the little Xanax thing, and it's like, God damn it, Richie! And the the you know, <laughs> Jimmy's you know, actually, I'm kind of into it. <laughs> It's like, finally, these fucking kids aren't running around and screaming and yelling and opening my kids' press. Who the fuck does that? Did no one teach you manners? Just... Uh, <laughs> and, um... Let's see, then we have the, um... Yeah, and, and you know, Tina very tense, things seem to be, you know, going wrong, and then it's like, it's, you know, Sydney, either personally or had one of the others made, you know, a, a spare, and Tina's like, why'd you make this? Because I don't got time to fuck around, you know, and it's like, yeah, it, you know, if you're not, if you're not gonna listen, she's gonna do it for you, that's, we, you know, she did, Richie didn't want to ask help at the store to find out which cock he needed, you know, he's like, I've been, I have been using my, my own cock for so long, I don't need anybody's help on it, okay? And she went and, and got it instead, you know, she's, yeah, that's, you, it, it's a, it's, yeah, that's how, when, if, if people aren't going to listen to her when she tells them you're doing this wrong, she's going to solve it behind their back and, you know, just, yeah, you know, you get, you get the sense that she's been, like, I can imagine she's maybe, like, got siblings or something, and she's used to having to deal with, you know, asking someone to do something. It's really important, and they're not going to do it, so you got to do it yourself. And, yeah. And then we get the... Yeah, um, Jimmy and, and Carmi talking about, you know, the Carmi's dad, and the the thing with the restaurant and this thing you know how can you stand it i i'm there for 5 minutes and i'm thinking dark thoughts yeah that's probably why i like it 
and Sydney, maybe she likes Tina's potatoes, more likely she's just, like, letting her down easily, you know, and, and Tina's like, we both know I fucked up, you and I don't get along, why are you not tearing me a new asshole over this, and, and Sydney's just like, let's just, let's move on, you know, we don't have to make a big thing out of this. And then we we end with, you know, because Pete drank the, the Ecto Cooler, so he's really, really sleepy, and the, you know, thank you so much for letting me part, be part of this family. Oh, shut up! You know, just, you know. I get to make fun of Pete, because I'm, of all the characters on this show, he's probably the one I'm most similar to, so I get to make fun of him, too. No, what's the thing, nobody beats up my little brother but me, kind of thing, you know. Um, I'm not, I'm not kicking down, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, Abs absolutely love this episode, so, so thrilled that just, I, I really, I don't understand people who say, oh, there's nothing good to watch, you're not, looking you it, it's it can be difficult to pick what to watch because there's so much good but it's just not true that there's nothing good to you know no good tv or streaming or movies or anything just anyway yeah um let's see that is yes um tomorrow i will go watch the news mission impossible and I don't know if I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna record the the review. It might not be up until Saturday morning, but we'll see. But yeah, and I do intend to do a movie Saturday also. So stay tuned. And yeah. <laughs>